Hey guys and welcome! Just a short video today to keep you updated on a few things around Battlefield 2042 and the current Archangel event, so let's dive right into it. The first point I want to talk about is a small server-sided update we can expect next week and this update aims to fix the current ADS sensitivity bug that a lot of players are experiencing at the moment. The bug is connected to uniform soldier aiming and to the soldier zoom aim sensitivity and what it essentially does is that it prevents your zoom aim sensitivity value from being applied. This results in no slowdown when aiming down sights or even a much faster sensitivity than normal, so if you should have experienced this since the last update, no worries, it's not you, it's not your controller or your mouse, it's not a new feature, it's a bug. And this one will finally be fixed next week. However, if the bug is getting too annoying in the meantime, there's also an effective workaround for it. Simply turn off uniform soldier aiming that you can find at the options, then mouse and keyboard or controller and on foot, and also set lower values for the zoom aim sensitivities of the different magnifications at the bottom of the list. It's important to note that this bug can affect players on both PC and consoles, and no matter if you use a controller or mouse and keyboard. For me, for example, the bug is worse on PC, so I had to do the full work around here, but on console it was already enough to disable uniform soldier aiming. For you, this might be similar, so just follow the steps I explained above and see what works best for you. One thing you should know, however, is that once the update has rolled out, you might have to revert these steps, because then the ADS sensitivity may be too slow. In addition to the bug fix, there are also some changes coming to our specialist dozer, because according to a recent tweet of the Battlefield comms account, the bash range of his shield will be reduced. Currently, this range is set at 2.15 meters, which many consider to be too much, me included, and I mainly play this specialist. However, with the upcoming update, the range will be lowered to 1.85 meters, which results in a range reduction of about 16%. This adjustment aims to bring more balance to the specialist again and reverts some of the changes done with update 5.0. Unfortunately, there is no exact time or date announcement yet for the update, but I'll keep you informed as usual. And good news here, all of these changes can be made server-sided, which means you won't have to download anything or wait for a client update. It also doesn't look like we will get a client update at all next week, according to community manager Kevin Johnson, and this might mean that the next bigger update we can expect for Battlefield 2042 is update 5.2, which will also add the new map rework of our class to the game. So no small updates in between this time and no major bug fixes or quality of life improvements. Moving on to the last topic of this video, according to the latest developer stream, we will also see the addition of a fourth map for the event mode control next week, because currently it's only played on the three maps Reclaimed, Orbital and Valparaiso. They didn't mention which map it will be exactly, but when looking at the screenshots of the official event blog post, I'm pretty sure the new map will be Erika Arbor. Given its great design, layout and size, this map should fit well with the new mode and will surely provide a similar good gameplay experience as Valparaiso. And that's it for today's update on Battlefield 2042. Remember to keep an eye out for next week's server-sided update with a fix for the ADS sensitivity bug and the reduction of Dozer's shield range. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like or a comment below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Until then, thanks for watching and thanks to my members for the additional support. I'm the Catwoman and you are awesome.